Okay, well I'm sitting here in a hotel room in Warner Springs, California and loving it. Um, I've got this room all to myself tonight, uh, just the way it worked out. And uh, this is an interesting little town. It's my first uh, post office stop, first town stop, uh, mile 110. And um, it reminds me a little bit of my first stop on the Appalachian Trail of Fontana in that it's not really a town, it's more of a little resort and everyone drives around in golf carts and there's there's really only just a post office, one little store and then this resort with all the rooms where all the hikers stay. And so it's a little bit strange, but uh, I'm loving it. There's a there's a, a natural hot spring here that feeds into a pool and I soaked for hours today in the pool. It was one of the most amazing town stops I've ever had on any of my hikes. So definitely recommend this as a mandatory stop for anybody thinking of uh, hiking the PCT. So, mental note. Uh, otherwise, things have been great. Um, I've been dealing with some definite extremes on the trail that I wasn't prepared for. Really hot days and really cold nights. Um, I made the mistake of packing my 40 degree bag thinking, oh, it'll May in, in South California, it's going to be super hot. and it's super hot, but at night the temperatures have gotten down into the 20s, and so even with my liner, my 40 degree bag was miserably cold. And so, thankfully, I've got my warmer bag now. It was sent here, so uh, that's one crisis averted. And um, the next crisis that everybody in town is talking about is the snow. And so, uh, coming up right after this is uh, in about 50 miles is the San Jacinto Range, and everyone is running around screaming ice axes and crampons and, and it's it's crazy so uh, I'm gonna go through it and see if it's bad I'll, I'll turn around or I'll, I'll find a bailout trail but I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to go through it and hopefully get through it without any issue and um, in about 60 miles I'm gonna hit the town of Idlewild and I'm gonna definitely take a day off there. I was thinking about taking a day off here but I decided to to head out tomorrow and and get back on the trail so that's it. Long first update, but uh, I'm loving it, and I'm so glad I decided to do this. And uh, 100 miles down, and who knows how many to go. So, signing off.